Well, it's starting to rain, but I'm going to make a quick walk around video on this 2009 Toyota Prius. This is the Touring Edition. It's got full leather, and you don't see many of these in leather. Tires are brand new, new battery. When I say battery, the ignition battery. The fuel cell is good, though. Very healthy fuel cell. Sorry, battery cell. I don't have my EV terminology quite right. It's on right now. You can hear it. It is quiet. It goes down to like a battery mode or, or kind of engine shut off mode here in a second. Interior is very clean. This floor mats come out. That carpet is brilliant. Back seat shows no wear. Like I said, I, I was averaging, I think, 48 to 53 miles per gallon. Got a little, looks like bike grease here and a little stain there. Otherwise, this interior is really, really clean. The passenger side here. Lots of entertainment features and infotainment features in this car that I was surprised about. Full map navigation, backup cam, plug in the auxiliary or CD player, six disc, that's right, I said CD player, or Bluetooth. It's in really pristine condition for 2009. Super clean. A couple scratches, nothing bad. It's really starting to rain now. All the doors close as they should. No issues. Ooh, nice weather. It's unfavorable. Here we have our on display. The thing I like to watch most is this trip info and it shows like current MPGs. I don't know. I'm a nerd, so it's kind of fun to watch that. We have climate. Here's map. Oh, sorry. P for park. And then you can hit map while you're driving though, which is kind of interesting. Climate here. And you have all the controls on this on the wheel too, which is really cool. Defrost air circulation, your Bluetooth, pick up a call, your map info, temp, AC, auto, which is cool. That's what I did when I drove this thing uh, some 680 miles. I just turned on that on and boom, left it on for the whole trip and it was so comfortable. Lots and lots of storage in this car. Lots of storage everywhere. It's pretty awesome. I know a lot of people hate on these cars, but I actually really enjoy driving this thing. That 680 some miles did great over mountain passes. Very comfortable. I haven't seen any of the other ones with this interior setup, kind of the black on silver. JBL audio. I said the stereo sounds great. It's really easy to drive. Just, it's on right now. You hit the power button. wiper blades on it is raining put my seatbelt on the tires on this are really new and they're super aggressive which I like you can get through stuff like this no problem it is raining here a lot never done a car a car preview in the rain but yeah, you can see our mapping system here. It does have backup cam. Maybe I'll try to demonstrate that once we get over the, the lake here. We have, it's not really rain over here. Rain over here and some clouds over here. So we shouldn't be stuck in the middle of it. Maybe once we drive through, we'll kind of get out of it. Um, yeah, it has uh, sun visors with the lights. It's kind of cool. Um, Volkswagen does those a lot with the slide on and the lights turn on. I've never seen it in um, a Toyota, but maybe it's more common than I than I know. Like I said, really, really comfortable car. I'm 6'4", a little over 200 pounds, and most cars are pretty uncomfortable for me after 8 or 10 hours. But this one I got out of, and I honestly felt great. Felt really, really good. Lots of support in the seat. Handles really, really well. 
um, from what I know and what I understand, the battery, the battery cell, the cell bank, I hope that's the right terminology, is located uh, kind of on the bottom of the car, much like a Tesla. And you can feel it. I've driven a couple of Teslas and I drive this and it kind of feels like, okay, it's, it's, it's kind of heavy, but it handles well and it feels like that weight is really centered at the bottom. This is a little phone carrier that I got. Um, when I pick the car up, um, it can come with it. If you give me the right price, it can be yours. I'm gonna pull in here, uh, do a quick uh, backup cam. Because I think that's really cool. There's not many uh, 2009 uh, Toyotas that um, you know, were selling in this EV, I shouldn't say EV, this hybrid market that had all the features and amenities that this one does. Like I said, six disc CD player, auxiliary plug in, Bluetooth, and the radio gets really good reception seemingly wherever you are. I'm probably the only person that still listens to radio, but it does get uh, pretty good reception. I'll find a place to park up here and demonstrate the backup cam and a couple other kind of quick features on the infotainment because I think it's worth seeing. Like I said, pretty um, cool infotainment system. Over here, the turn signals, lights, and everything like that work as they should. No issues there. Um, yeah, so uh, display, If you uh, like I said, my favorite feature is hitting this, this info, then hitting trip information, and it shows like some of the, um, the kind of MPGs, your consumption, and it, it's kind of flashy, it's cool. I don't know why I like to look at it, it shows your temperature here as well, and then you can have consumption, and that kind of breaks it down to your, uh, I guess, last trips, and then it shows like kilowatt hours regenerated. Uh, you know what, to me, I'm not really familiar with a lot of that information, but I like to watch it on a graph. It looks cool. I don't know why. Uh, climate, um, you have kind of everything you would imagine on a, on a hand display, a manual display, but it's all in the infotainment center here. But you do have some dials here on the wheel as well. They're just a little bit more limited. Um, next one, uh, audio. Here's your radio and like everything you need to, you need to... Sounds great. Uh, everything you need for the audio is there. Adjust all your adjustables. Get wild. It's got JBL. It sounds great. Um, on menu, have a couple other things. And I think a lot of the menu goes to the, the GPS. And then you have your map here. Do, 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 do. Plug in your address and it will pop up the different route. Odometer set and trip here. I like to do that a lot in cars that claim really good gas mileage because I like really, really like to dissect it and see what kind of mileage. And uh, it has like something like five or six trip uh, settings, which is cool. It's, that's kind of rare. So I'm still in drive, but I'm going to put it in park and you hit, you press this P button with a box and then it's in park. Uh, however, there is a parking, uh, you can see my leg, a parking brake here that you can push down as well, which is what I did. I try to get in the habit of doing that with cars in general. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, uh, I'll show the, the backup cam feature here. It is raining. Oh, you know what? It does pretty well in the rain. Sorry, I just gotta deal with the beeping for now. But, uh, yeah, how about that? Um, I guess one other thing I'd like to, uh, to mention in this car is its turning radius. It has a pretty short wheelbase. Up the turning race. I don't know if I can do it here. I sure can. This is a pretty tight little lot here, and um, I had no problem turning around that. Great little car for city or for rural travel if you want to save some gas and feel really comfortable. I know the Prius is not the most exciting looking car, and it catches a lot of flack, even from my uh, my nephew in Michigan, but. It is a very fuel efficient car. It's very comfortable. The AC is super, super cold. And for a daily driver or a commuting car, you can't get much better than this one. And the Toyota reliability and the comfort of this touring package is, again, really nice. I don't see too many of them uh, with this leather option. And like I said, these clear floor mats are pretty cool. You take those off and the carpet is as clean as it is here. This car is very, very clean. You see the big peach. And uh, I am in 
don't know what town this is, but I'm on Raccoon Mountain and I'm driving around. And if you are interested in this beautiful 2009 Toyota Prius, give me a call, 541-639-1124, and we can schedule a tour. I think this one's gonna go pretty quick. I know a lot of folks who are after a car like this. I hope you have a great day.